talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. You play to win the game. It's time for your daily sports update with Timbo Slice. How's it going, Timbo Slice? Hey, it was awesome. How was yours? It was great. Went down to Seoul. Had a great time. Awesome. So what do you have for us today? I uh, got your roundup of NFL scores, your schedule on AFN today for sports, and just going to talk about a few uh, of those bowl games we had over the weekend. Okay, cool. Uh, kicking us off, uh, the early games in the NFL that are already final, the Baltimore Ravens beat the Cincinnati Bengals 13-7. to That locked the Baltimore Ravens into the wild card and the five seed in the AFC. The New York Jets beat the Buffalo Bills 38-7. The Jets are also a wild card in the sixth seed. My beloved Tampa Bay Buccaneers finished out the season 10-6, upsetting the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans 23-13. Sadly, probably not going to be enough for the Bucs to make the playoffs. They need both Green Bay and the New York Giants to lose, and both are winning right now in the fourth quarter. The New England Patriots finished off a dominant regular season by handling the Miami Dolphins 38-7 at home. Uh, The Oakland Raiders finished up the season strong, beating the playoff-bound Kansas City Chiefs 31-10. The Detroit Lions uh, beat the Minnesota Vikings 20-13. Brett Favre's last game, but he did not play. He was injured. Um, Goodbye, good riddance. Hopefully we don't go through a Willie play or Willie not saga next offseason. We'll be tired of that story. I know, right? Goodness gracious. He's played to death. (laughs) The uh, Pittsburgh Steelers walloped the Cleveland Browns 41-9, and the Atlanta Falcons... Uh, secured the one seed in the NFC, beating the Carolina Panthers 31-10. The Carolina Panthers are officially on the clock. They have the first pick in the NFL draft. Game's currently in progress. The Houston Texans are beating the Jacksonville Jaguars 34-17. Jags need to win this to have a shot at making the playoffs. The New York Giants beating the Washington Redskins 17-7. The Giants need to win and have the Packers lose to make the playoffs. San Francisco, the 49ers are beating... The Arizona Cardinals 31-7 in a completely meaningless playing for pride game. Uh, Tennessee Titans are tied with the Indianapolis Colts at 20. If the Colts win, they're in. If they lose, they need the Jags to keep losing to Houston. Uh, Green Bay is beating the Chicago Bears 10-3. If Green Bay wins, they're in. If not, they are out. The San Diego Chargers, another pride game, beating the Denver Broncos 26-14. And the Philadelphia Eagles beating the Dallas Cowboys 13-7. Uh, nothing at stake in that game either. Your sports schedule for the day at 9 a.m. on AFN Extra, the Dallas Mavericks travel to Cleveland to take on the Cavaliers. Mavs got some rough news. Uh, Sean Marion might be out for the season. That's going to be a tough blow for them. Uh, in the NHL at 10 a.m. on AFN Prime Atlantic, the Vancouver Canucks travel to Denver to take on the Colorado Avalanche. On AFN Sports at 10:15, the St. Louis Rams travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Uh, winner of that game wins the putrid AFC or NFC West. If the Seahawks win, it would be the first time in NFL history that a team has made the playoffs with a losing record. They would be seven and nine and in the playoffs. Ouch! That game also replays at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning if you're a, a night owl. Um, at 11:30 AFN Extra, the Memphis Grizzlies travel to LA to take on the kind of struggling Lakers. And at 4 p.m., we have a replay of the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles. And also at 4 p.m. on AFN Extra, UFC 125, if that's your sort of thing. So uh, it was a big weekend of college bowl games this weekend. Um, you got any uh, any teams that you root for there, Morning Diva? Uh, of course. Uh, my alma mater, UCF, we were in the Liberty Bowl, and we actually won our fo- our first bowl game. How about that? I saw that. The SEC Power Georgia. Way to go. Yes, we did. I uh, I did a little stint at the University of Florida, the greatest university in the state of Florida. Woo! And we sent our head coach, Urban Meyer, out with a victory in his last game. The Will Muschamp here starts in Florida officially uh, now. But Florida got a nice win there, and it was a really dominant New Year's Day for the Southeastern Conference. Went 3-0 and against the Big Ten. Mm. Alabama throttled Michigan State. Alabama was the fourth best team in the uh, SEC West this year. Michigan State Big Ten co-champs lost 49-7. to The Big Ten went 0-5 in New Year's Day Bowls. That has to leave a bit of a black eye on what was once the dominant conference in America. I think it's clear that the Big Ten has slipped. The SEC is the power conference despite uh, some rough losses early on. On New Year's Day they went 3-0. 
we already talked about Florida and Alabama winning, and the other game that went on that day, Michigan, or excuse me, Michigan got demolished by Mississippi State. It was their worst bowl loss in the history of a very proud program. You got to wonder if that was um, their head coach's last game. Rumors they're going to be targeting Stanford's Jim Harbaugh to be their new coach. Wow. So we have more college bowl games this week coming up. Um, you have the Orange Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, the Cotton Bowl for the schedule for all those games. If you want to find them, you need to check on uh, afnkorea.net and click on the link for TV. It has our TV schedule. You can find all your sports action there. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer on the air, hit us up on the Facebook page. Address it to the sports guru, Timbo Slice, and we'll see uh, if we can get your question answered on the air. That does it for me, Morning Dean. I hope you had a great New Year's Day weekend, and I turn it back over to you. Are you kidding me? That's all I got to say. It makes me want to puke.